we were, we were told basically that they were going to be coming out, and this uh, this cool cat Jonathan, one of their reps, said, uh, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I'll come out, I'll do it." And so I'm expecting like you know one uh, one ten by ten and uh, some products. Mm -mm, not with these guys. Not only did we get two ten by tens, these are not even, these are like huge, right? Not only did we get this plus a ton of products, but they also set up their um, their new shooting range. We're going to talk about that in a second. But hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, Germany. So here's the here's the deal. Um, these guys went above and beyond. In fact, I'll tell you how much they went above and beyond. Klaus from Germany, what's going on, dude? Um, instead of just them sending out their their top representative, you know what they did? The owner of the company came out. Listen to that. Listen to that. Listen to the crowd. Right? The owner of the company and they start screaming. That's fantastic. What timing? Anyway, so here's the cool thing. Um, I did a Facebook Live at uh, Decay of Nations and uh, uh, KT kind of just showed me everything that's going on. We're going to show you again what's going on here for the people that probably didn't see that one. Then we're going to jump over to Jonathan. He's going to show us how he's, they're doing this amazing target range. Uh, dude, these guys knocked it out of the park and I really want to thank them a lot. So hang on one second. We're going to flip over and like that. Where's my flip over? There we go. Okay, guys, check out this thing here, right? These guys did it right. Jonathan, what's going on, man? How's it going? How's I'm good. it going? Good, buddy. Okay, look. Look at this huge table, right? This is like a buffet of guns, right? This is just like, we've got, we've got patches over here, right? And then you guys check this out back here. We're going to talk about that in a second. Okay, cool. So, what's up, cowboy? How you doing? So, hey, guys. You got, this is KT. KT and Jonathan drove down from San Francisco. San Jose. Whatever. Get Roy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close <laughs> to uh, up north those, those to uh, to actually be a part of the Reapers Challenge and actually do all this kind of stuff. It's fantastic. Tell us about tell us about MCS and tell us about what you got going on here. MCS Model Combat Sports would make uh, one of the best magfed markers in the world. Uh, our latest system is of course the PTR. This is for a sniper setup. Um, the other day, Jonathan was shooting 100 yards plus with this. I saw the video for that. I could not believe it. He knocked him in the head. Right. What makes it uh, it's, um, possible of this optimizer, it's made by HJ Sports. If you can look at the scope right here, it's kind of tilt down. This little thing right here, you can see how you can tilt the scope up and down. Wow. So what it does is compensate for the lob. So you're shooting around that going like this. Right. So this allows you, when you aim, you actually aim upward a little bit, but this little guy that you kind of, it looks like you're aiming straight, but it's actually tilting wow. up. So, that, so when you do a shot, a 100 yard shot, you can actually up a little bit and bam. If okay. you have a dial in, you can hit it pretty much every single can time. Can I put this system on any any gun or is this specifically for this kind of, this weapon? This system can put any gun. This uh, uh, HHA Sports uh, make this um, rail for crossbow. So you have to shoot a bow, it's kind of lop down. Okay. Um, for paintball, it helps because paintball when you shoot at a certain distance, it's like right. you lop down. Correct. So it compensate for that. That's amazing. Okay. What do you call this gun? This is called a PTR DMR. It's a bolt action system. So you rack one shot back, right. lock it forward, and you go And shoot. it's primarily for first strike. You can do you can do round ball too, but it's preferably first strike. Uh, round ball at certain um, distance, right. it's like to kind of lose its velocity already. With first strike, it's a much better system for it. What's the price point on this? This marker runs about $1,400. It's not bad. It's and not, like the SAR, right? It's about like the, the SAR, same thing. Same SAR. With this SAR, it doesn't come with the um, HHA. This one, the HHA, it has a 20 inches right. um, custom barrel, has a custom OPS uh, wow. suppressor. That's, that's so nice. you got to add a little more jazz to it. That's what the additional cost is for. Right. But if you get a base model around like 600 bucks to a uh, thousand pence, what you put on Dude, it. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, cool. So what else we got here? Well, the latest, this is the latest we just came out. Um, the pistols, also another uh, marker that the. Um, uh, the PPQ that was just released, not just us, but it just came out about two um, two months ago, right. and these mar this pistol have been flying off the shelf. Now these are 43 caliber, the 43 cal, and they're also blowback, right? It does. Correct. Okay. So this, I believe, there, I so believe there's just this one here. So every when you out of ammo, the slide actually lock back. You can over lock it out by depressing your thumb down here. You can actually dry fire. Wow. Right. So gorgeous. Yeah. Dude, that is awesome. Okay. And then air run kind of low, so air and ammo is actually sort of in the wow. mag. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's 43 caliber, right? 43 caliber. Okay, and how many shots you get out of the CO2? You get about solid, shots. solid about five mags. So what? About, yeah. 
quite a few. Okay, that's once, gorgeous. Once it starts to deplete, so you can whip it shoot for a while, um, it, it starts to cycle. It's how it's slow. Yeah. But you can select so we still can shoot it. Okay. Very cool. What, and what do these go for? This run $180. That's it? That's it. Come on, don't tell anybody that. Yes. We're going to go to business. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this, this, so yeah, this is doing really well. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, fantastic. And, and the weight's in the right spot too, isn't it? Oh yeah, the, the top weight. Of the mag. Yeah. Exactly. This is mostly for like a secondary. You can, you know, on your chest, you can put one here. Right. On the hip. It's really perfect for like... Um, Uses G21 holsters, Glock right. 21 holsters, okay. which is very readily available, super easy to find. Okay, so here's so. my question. Uh, when Spider came out with their uh, tracers and erasers, right. they sent me out six, right? <laughs> right. And they sent me out the Kingman paint. Right. And I spent more time cleaning the gun <laughs> than I did playing with the gun. Right. So I eventually just bought reballs right. for them, right? Right. How is this paint? Okay, so these paints are a little bit different. These paints are made in the states. Um, we've been doing um, 0.43 cow paint for about almost 20 years. Okay. So this is a uh, company in the state that make these ball for us, and we're doing 43 cow for. Close to 20 years. Okay. So they're really good paint, one of the best in the world. Um, Kingman, when they have come out, they have their paint made in Korea. It was, yeah. So their paint is not as. It was, you well, said. They, they, they need to make brittle paint because the velocity on a Kingman is really low, around about 200, 250. It's okay. really soft. And plus, they're trying to sell it as a low impact. This is not a low impact. Fantastic. Okay, cool. That's good to know, you guys. If you guys are going to buy some paint, buy it through uh, MCS. Right. Okay, cool. So what else we got? We have this new uh, suppressors coming out. A lot of people have been asking for it. We made a couple of them for a customer, for a several customer, and a lot of people have been wanting it. So we're releasing it in about two weeks. So yeah, look for it. It's coming out. This is OPS suppressor. Nice. It will work on pretty much all barrels. It comes with two adapters. You can use it on any 22 millimeter barrel, or you can use it on the 7.8, which is on Hammerhead, on Lapco, on. Uh, uh, T15 or first strike um, markers. It goes in all the way in like this, so you kind of thread it down. Oh, I see. You can position anywhere you like them. Nice. Um, you should what? put one on your tip X. Okay, I'll take it. So out. once on, <laughs> it's kind of look like this right here, kind of like a, a, a blade. Okay. System. Yeah. Um, it's very nice. Okay, cool. And this is a PTR that was uh, John was showing earlier. This is the system just came out about two months ago. Fully uh, one piece lower has the military uh, mil spec system for the handguard and, uh, and all the pistol grip. Um, the lower has the trigger system and free wheel firearms. For training aspect, this is probably the best system to go with. Very nice, very cool. What type of barrel can you put on that? This, we're using A5 threads. Okay. For most widely used barrel thread right now is nice. A5, so nice. that's what we're using. Okay, I like it, sounds cool. Okay, now, um, I was also told that this event that we're doing over here, yeah. you're actually giving away a gun for the winner, yes, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Jonathan will take over and he's going to show you guys I how to show, work. I want to see that gun. All right. But you guys, take a, look, take a look over here what else we got on the table, right? And this thing here, wait, these ones here? What are these guys? These, these are, are different configurations now, wait, of the PTR. Weren't you also doing something with that, what was the conversion kit, right? Conversion kit. So we have the conversion kits here too. So now, yeah, explain that. Because if I had a, what, just a, an A5? A5, you have an A5, you can turn your, you buy this body kit here. Basically, you get a mag well and a body, and you take and you gut your A5 and transfer a component into this body, and that allows you to do mag fed. Now, is it easy to do, or do I have to take you to my mechanic, or what? Do I have to do a yeah. hammer? <laughs> if you know on? how to take your marker, which you should already, able to iron R, remove, reassemble. On your marker, you can just transfer the, the, the component. Okay, so over. the average guy can buy one of these kits, yes. take apart his gun, right. and he's in the mag fed gun. Right, absolutely. Right. Yep. Is there a video online? Yeah, there's absolutely. a lot of videos online. Where would, I, where, would I, where would I happen to find those videos? <laughs> you go to um, you go to mcstechvideo.com and it's online. I like it. This sounds cool. All right, cool. All right, buddy. This boys. is one of the, uh, the, this is a 98 body right here. You convert your 98 into uh, mag fed, and that's how it looks like when you convert it. Dude, that's amazing. Okay, cool. So this is the one they're giving away. This is the one we're giving away. So this, this is a Blizzard kit. It's their 98 with a braided hose version, but it has tons of upgradability. You can actually put the rear air, you can put the tank in stock. Seriously. Shape projectile ready right out of the box. And you you have the ability with a new mil spec barrel nut adapter to put any mil spec real steel firearm handguard on this thing. Dude. So 98 threaded barrels, which you can, in my opinion, there's a lot more A5 performance barrels out there, but still a solid, solid entry level marker that has a ton of upgradability and ton of growth as you with you as a player. So okay. you can change this thing to many different looks, which is awesome. Wow, so. that is amazing. And you guys also came to tech, right? In case we needed it. Yeah. That's right. Wow, you guys, you guys knocked it out of the park. Okay, cool. Okay, so 
Who had the idea for this uh, the shooting range? Whose idea was this thing? It's um, d uh, made by, not designed, but come by Jeremy McKillick. He's a fire, one of the best. They, he's known for the best shooter in the world. Okay. Really famous. Uh, you look him up, Jeremy. And he does the STL drill on real firearms. And we found that it's really unique for transfer that to our sports. Find out who's the best shooters, the fastest, most accurate. It seemed really simple, but when we actually do it, it's not as simple as it looks. So the, we wrote a software to kind of keep track of who's the best shooter. And we launched this This is a, this weekend. It's the first weekend actually launched That's cool. uh, worldwide. Uh, and uh, guys, there are three events that are going on right now that uh I hear there's one there's one in Arizona. Arizona and, and Fuji Gap, right? Right, Fuji Gap is okay. also running. And, and but but they don't all have KT. <laughs> Only no? this one. Does. No, that's true. Oh. They don't. I have I have KT at my event, not at those events. So thank you very much again, KT. Thank you. Thank you for having okay, cool. right. All right, Jonathan, what do we got? All right, so moving on how the drill works, let me get my marker here. There we go. Here. So what you'll do, it doesn't matter what marker you're using. You can use speedball markers, you can use semi-automatic, you can use automatic markers. The point of the drill is to calculate 10 shots on a specific area of each target. So I'll walk you through it. We're at a, there's a spe specification as far as how far you need to be away from the target, which is 15 feet, so okay. three yards. Right. Um, and what we have here is three targets. So what we use is a, uh, a shot tracker, which I'll show you here in a second, but your first four shots you have a total of 10 shots like i said your first four shots are center mass right here at the target the next two are to the head here and then the next two are here and the last two are here so but you said or though right it you doesn't can... matter so you can it doesn't matter the direction you have to shoot the 10 shots but it doesn't matter the direction that you go so your first target is to eliminate is the six shots here got it from here i can go here two two and there two two i can go here two two and there two two nice. for a total of ten nice so what it does the shot tracker as soon as the beep goes off it'll count each shot the fastest time it'll calculate you the uh, the time of the shot as well as the total time to complete the 10 shots We implement that and we input that into our website and it will globally rank you against players all over the world Seriously. So it's a complete Opportunity for you to compete against players from all over the world and it will rank you based off of that time So like, like we said earlier, we have three events going on. We got fold the gap uh, the charity game in Arizona held by SAS Arizona and then we also have this one right here at your event. Nice. So, okay, cool. Now, I heard that Bradley O'Dell from Bradley Mar O'Dell has Maritime Milton Maritime Milton Maritime, podcast. Maritime yeah. Milton podcast. Yeah. He is what? What's his? Do you know what his he, score is? I believe his was a three point eight. Three point eight. Seconds. Actually, have somebody right now that is uh, holding the record. Um, Wait a minute. It's in Arizona, and we have the second fastest time here no yes me so. i'm the guy no it's not. I, haven't, I haven't done, it yet. done it yet i haven't done it i'm gonna do there's it there's a there's a right, good cool. possibility that you can no, do no, it no, we'll, so. we'll check it out okay cool so can you run, you run us through how this thing works so well, actually i'll demonstrate it for you here real quick so right here make sure i got enough juice so what we do it doesn't matter like i said you can come up here with your own marker but we'll use ours for the demonstration here load up this mag Okay, yeah, so you guys, you can bring in your own markers. When you guys go to an event and you actually see these guys, you can actually bring your own, but you can only have 10 in the hopper, right? 10, uh, it's only going to calculate 10 shots. If you overshoot a target, yeah. that will count against you. Right. And if you miss a shot, it counts as a disqualification. Got it, okay, cool. So, so whatever you're used to, guys, if you're used to actually, you know, your speedball gun or whatever you're, you know, just, just bring it out and try this thing out. All right. So. Oh, I'm sorry. How much does it cost to do this? This at this event, it's actually free. Depending on where you're doing it, um, you can actually host this event yourself. You don't need the uh, moderation of me or KT. <laughs> you can actually instill this. If you go to stldrill.com, you can see the specifications on how to make your own targets as well as how to host the event. Nice. From there, you go to our website and you actually create the event that you're going to be doing it at. So you can actually, if you're hosting a charity event or you want to take proceeds and put them towards something, you can actually charge participants, you know, $5 or $3. Nice. And all proceeds will go to that, uh, to that charity. What we're doing today is free and we're giving out a marker for the fastest time. Wow. So dude. it's pretty neat. It's like so Christmas. I'm going right. to walk you through it. What you'll do is you'll get the mag, um, you'll get the marker, I'll put it on. When the shot tracker beep begins, you have to leave your muzzle at the base of the target. And as soon as the beep goes, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two. 
That's it. So as fast as that is cool. as soon as your last shot goes, the shot tracker calculates that time, and then we put it into the website on our program, and it automatically ranks you. And th at this pr point in time, you can actually do it as many times to get you know your fastest uh, your fastest right. go. Um, but depending on your event and whoever's hosting it, it may change. Okay, but cool. this will globally rank you. Um, this is the opening weekend. So after this weekend, as we see the participants and times coming in now uh, live, what we're going to do is we'll start segregating to different types of markers. So very MagFed cool. only or nice. TipX only or anything like that. Very, very cool. All right, cool. So where do we find you guys? You can find us at the MCSUS.com website. Our YouTube channel is at Modern Combat Sports. And then you can also, to see the drill, it's STLDrill.com. Nice. And your personal address? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I give my blood.